Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting with Farouk Julius. Guys, we're going to be reacting to She Admits Her Magic Field on Muslims. Guys, Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Welcome to an eye opening video. It's not the eyes that are blind, but it's our hearts. What's your understanding of black <laughs> magic? Do you think it exists? Does it have any impact? We as Muslims know that it exists. It works. It's done for jealousy. It's done to cause separation between man and his wife. It's done for so many other evil reasons. It's selling Akira for a cheaper price. Worst deal and deed one can ever actually encounter. It's known as Seher in Arabic. I'm sure there's a word for it in every language. If you wonder where did this actually come up from, Quran tells us about it in Surah Baqarah, verse 102. Ancient Babylon is very interesting to read and understand. All the magic that exists today somehow will go back to Babylon. There's zero benefit with black magic. Coming straight to the point, see this video. It made me speechless for a moment. Does it mean that it's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity? Yes, absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the aggregor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons, and so on. Muslims, as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their egregor, and this egregor protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good egregore? Well, for them, yes. This egregore is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail? Or how do you do that? It disappears. I cannot get a grip on it. I focus on it, but something immediately knocks me out of the flow, just like that. Or I visualize a person in front of me clearly, and can affect him even at a mental level, but some image is not created in my mind at all. I even look at a photo, reproduce an image, but it vanishes from my mind. Thus, I can clearly see that a person is covered with something. Does this only work with Muslims? It does for me. Subhanallah. Hana Hushneer, a Russian sorcerer, reveals her experience of practicing witchcraft on Muslims. The kind of contrast she mentioned, other faiths with Islam. We say Islam is true. We know it's the ultimate truth. How many of us actually live by it? Salah. Salah is the key. The moment you fix Salah, many things in your life get fixed. In fact, it fixes your entire life with knowledge and practice. Inshallah, the kind of protection it offers us from magic is told by this woman. Sometimes we are too lazy to pray or we are busy with the meeting, cooking food, all of a sudden it's Salah time. How are we looking at it? Consider it as a meeting, the most important meeting and pour your heart into it. Inshallah, declutter from dunya. It's not worth it over our Salah. Subhanallah, this video is an eye-opener. This is a non-Muslim woman saying it. She's not going to get anything in return by manifesting the truth about our faith. May Allah guide her. The dome she was talking about is the protection from Allah. Defeat shaitan brothers and sisters. If you fail and sin again, repent. Your Lord is the most merciful. Sadaqah avoids calamity. Similarly, Salah, this is a priceless gift from our Lord, which is not just protection from magic, it's rewarding. It's the key to Jannah. So let's start praying. May Allah make us steadfast and keep us under His protection. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. 
Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Wow. I have a lot to say, but I haven't started. What do you think about this? I think um, prayer is the key. That, that's just <laughs> it. That's <laughs> just it. That's just the it. The Muslims pray five times a day. I think they are very like spiritual. Like, yeah, so I think the ma he, he, any magic can't break against them compared to the Christians. I think some Christians also pray every day, but some also pray like on daily basis, Sundays. Some only go to church on Sundays. Some will only go to church once a year or something. Yes. And I think she mentioned that the Muslims are stronger than Christians who, who go to church when they need something, then forget about God. So I think that's when her magic gets works on those Christians because they, they, are, they are not under any protection. Yeah. Okay, so right. what? Okay. And I'm saying, <coughs> yeah, somehow wrong. Yeah, somehow right. <coughs> because I feel those people that come to God without like come to God once in like four years or two years or I think those people are not supposed to be called Christians. Listen, yes, yes, they are Christians, but not true Christians. I feel they are yeah. actually Christians because yeah, Christians. Christians are like the followers of Christ. Yes. Obviously, you are Christ, not following Christ. Christ. You are not following what He said you should do. For you not to come to church for like four years, it's, it does not make sense. Listen, I mean, that might be, an, that might be pray, an exaggeration. God said, no, God said, Jesus said, pray always. And for you not to be praying always, praying once in five, it does not make like no, no, you're not supposed to be qualified praying, as a Christian. A Christian is Christian is just a name. It's like because I I'm Christian because I, because I have a Christian name. You so like Christian is just like a name given to a person, let's say okay. who is no Muslim. Yeah, so if if you don't go to church like four years, you're you're a Christian, but not a true Christian. You you, you don't do what God says. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about that? Okay. So, as for me, I'm not going to limit this video to just Muslims because this video is talking particularly about Muslims. Because in the long run, if you look at it genuinely, there are Muslims who don't actually pray, or there are Muslims who don't actually pray five times daily, and then like like um, he mentioned, maybe due to meetings, too lazy, you are busy, you are doing that. Like I said, this is like an eye opener. Even for me personally, it's an eye opener to to always pray. So I'm not saying that as a Muslim, Christ, uh, magic won't affect you. That's not what I'm saying. There are also Christians who pray regularly. Because what I'm saying for this video is that maybe she's trying to like tilt it towards the Muslim aspect because Muslims are more spiritual. I don't even believe that Muslims are more spiritual. I feel spirituality comes as a person individually. You can either be a Christian and be spiritual and then as a Muslim I can also be spiritual. Not all Muslims are spiritual. Not all Muslims are spiritual. There are Christians who are also spiritual. So I just feel at the end of the day, prayer is key, regardless of you being a Muslim yeah. or being a Christian. At the end of the day, let's just pray and be steadfast about it. That's just why. That's just my take on it. No, I also feel that a witch can actually come. Oh, she's a sorcerer or she probably black magic. I black magic, but I don't think she's supposed to be able to come on life to say that. Yes. Because why, why it was written that it was written in the Bible, so far not a witch to live. Like you can't a witch can actually come out open and accept she's a witch. Oh, there are people oh, lately people have actually been doing that. But uh, they've been doing that a lot. I, I, I mean feel, I as a Muslim, there is black magic, there is sorcery. No, oh, there but is right oh, now, you people can actually come open and say I'm practicing black magic. Oh, people do yeah, it. You're going to hide people, under people, the fact that people actually come out and actually it's say it. it. <laughs> people say, people <laughs> come out and say it. I don't feel she is actually practicing black magic. Oh, well, I don't know. That's up to her. But then people actually come out and do say. See, the thing is that most times when you see. Um, initially, when issue of this black magic arose, I was seeing it as per, let's say, clips or video clips, and I'll see it. But then I look at it and say that this might also be staged. Yeah. This might also be staged. It might be something that you have pre 
pre-planned and all and then put it out so most times i don't tend to believe but then i've seen someone actually come out and say it is just giving us like an awareness that there is black magic people are practicing it. she might not be practicing it but there is black magic people yeah. are practicing it and that, it's actually that's happening a fact. i know there is black magic i know there are winters and wizards but i feel based on christianity it, it like a witch just can't come out and say I'm a witch. Oh, she's nah. going to be killed. That's not possible. That's not true. Okay. Guys, tell us what you feel about this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel. Please tell us what to think. Like, if you see a witch that is not willing to accept your religion, or she she says she's a witch, she kills people, and she's not willing to change. She be honest. Change. Although she didn't mention she killed people. Yeah. Though. What What do you think witches do? Not all witches kill. Not what do you think they do? When this video started, he's... What do you think they do? We don't know. We don't we no, know. Look, now, what he said was that they destroy marriage. Exactly. They, you don't have they to be... You don't have people. to kill for you to be rich. There are, there are murderers out there. Do you tell me because everyone is a murderer? Because that... It means they, they use black to... magic to do it. He told him... They don't kill. <laughs> guys, I should like, share, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>